All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the following problem, where we want to convert an integer value to its corresponding binary representation. And we're going to be doing this by making use of the stack data structure that we coded up in a previous video. Uh, the link to that video is in the description below. And in that previous video, we coded up this stack class here. And this code is also hosted uh, on, on the description as well, so you can click the link and get the code as well. And we're going to be making use of this class stack, which implements the stack data structure to solve this, uh, this particular problem. Uh, but before we actually get to how one can use a stack to solve it, we're going to just consider a method known as the divide by two method that allows us to convert from integer values to their binary representations. And the way that we're going to just look at this method is by considering an example. And the example that we're going to consider is we want to convert 242, the integer 242, to its corresponding binary representation. And the divide by 2 method, as you would assume from the name, involves subsequent divisions by 2 of this number, where we keep track of the remainder of the divisions until we get to a number that gives us, until we get to a division that gives us 0. So the best way to uh, kind of understand how this works is to actually see this example unfold. So let's actually go for it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide 242 by 2. And if I open up a Python shell here, and if I say 242 divided by 2, that gives us a value of 121. And what I want to do is I want to keep track of the remainder of this division, uh, as this corresponds to the least significant bit of the binary representation. So the remainder of this particular division here is 0. We can check that by just using the modulus operator. And we know that because we're dividing an even number by 2. So anytime we divide an even number by 2, we get a remainder of 0. And anytime we divide an odd number by 2, we'll be getting a remainder of 1. And we'll just be keeping track of those divisions, of those remainders rather, as we go through the divisions. So I'm just going to write down that as the remainder. And then we continue on by taking this number, and then we divide that by 2. So if we say 121 divided by 2. So what Python is doing here is that um, it's giving us the fractional part of this number as well, which we don't really care about. So we only care about the integer value. So in Python, if you don't care about the fractional component of a division, what you can do is you can use a double division, and this just takes the floor of, the, of, of this particular operation. So if we do 121 double division 2, that will give us 60. Uh, and again, we're keeping track of the remainder of the division. And since, again, we know that 121 divided by 2, uh, 121 is odd, so we know the remainder of that division is 1. So I'm not going to go explicitly through all these other divisions, um, but I'll say 60 divided by 2 we know to be 30. That evenly divides. 30 divided by 2 gives us 15. That evenly divides. 15 divided by 2 uh, will give us 7.5. Take the floor of that, gives us 7. Remainder of that division is 1. 7 divided by 2 is 3. And again, it's really 3.5. Uh, remainder of that is 1, 3 divided by 2 is 1, that gives us 1, and then finally 1 divided by 2 uh, gives us a half, if we take the fractional component off, it gives us 0, and that will give us a remainder of 1. So now what we have here is we have a, a string of zeros and 1s, and if we read from this point to this point, that will give us the binary representation of this number here. And just to verify that is if we say int of uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, base 2, that will give us 242. All right, so that's kind of the main idea for the divide by 2 method. And what we're going to do is we're going to make use of a stack to um, keep track of the remainders and to provide us with what the binary representation is uh, after, after it's done with the divisions. So what we're going to do is we're going to, well first maybe I should describe how a stack can be used. So the way that this uh, is carried out is we're going to perform the initial division, push the remainder on the stack, uh, carry on, 
do this next division, push the next remainder on the stack. So the way this is kind of written here is that this is really the bottom of the stack and this is the top. So by the end of the divisions, the top of the stack will be here. And what we'll do is we'll just start popping off the stack and just read the uh, binary representation of what we get as we pop off the stack. So that's going to give us the binary representation of the number. Right, so now what I want to do is let's exit out of the Python terminal. Uh, let me give it a clear screen here. And as I mentioned, we'll be making use of this stack class here, which if I ls is in this uh, current working directory here, which is in this uh, same directory as this file is. So I'm going to from stack import stack. And let's create a function called uh, div by two. And this is going to take a decimal number. All right, so we know we're going to use a stack. So let's create a stack object. And then what we're going to do is we're going to perform the uh, divisions until, until we get to zero. So while this is greater than zero, we're going to take the remainder. So we're taking the remainder of the division. So that's what this part of corresponds to. So I'm saying this mod two will give us the remainder. I'll actually write out remainder so we know. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the remainder onto the stack. And then we'll actually perform the division. So the division is decnum is equal to decnum double division two. Again, this double division because we don't care about the fractional component of the division that we're performing. So now we have a stack that looks like this. Again, the top of the stack is here. And so what we want to do is we'll, we want to go through the whole stack until it's empty uh, while popping off all of the elements of the stack. So let's create a string which will hold the binary representation. And while the stack isn't empty, we will concatenate the, um, the popped element on that stack to the binary number here. So bin num plus equals string of s.pop. And then we can basically just return bin num. Right, so now let's actually give this a run. So if we say print div by two, uh, 242, and let's run this here, stack divided by two, then we get this binary representation here, which is exactly what we got over here.